Hello everyone and welcome back to Set to Six. And today what I'm doing is, I've just got a really short video that I wanted to get out while I'm still putting everything together for the Final Fantasy Origins video that I'm going to do. I just want to watch a few playthroughs, get a bit more information on that. So I figured what I'd do in the meantime is, I'll put something together as far as the Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster series goes. Because we've, we've got some information on it, we've not got a lot of information on it, but we do have some. Don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe for future content. The support recently has definitely helped. The channel is growing nicely, and if we can keep that rolling, everyone will be happy. So yeah, but let's get on with it. So the Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster is a collection of games that's going to cover Final Fantasy 1, 2, 3 on the NES, and Final Fantasy 4, 5, and 6 on the Super Nintendo. Now each of these games is going to get a complete remaster, all of the artwork and all of the sprite designs look like they're going to get tweaked and touched up eventually and improved. So it should visually be a much better experience, we hope, than the original games were. Now these games are going to be released and sold individually, so a lot of people were hoping this was going to be a collection when it dropped. Unfortunately that's not the case. It is going to be individual games, and it doesn't look like they're going to be released at the same time either. It looks like they're going to kind of be drip fed out to us. Now the platforms that these games are going to be released on is going to be the Steam platform on PC. And it's going to be released on mobile, so that'll be Android and iOS. Now the visual style does look like an improvement. It looks like it's implementing a lot more colours than were available in the original SNES chipset. So, you know, we're going to see these characters hopefully look a bit smoother than they did previously. Without damaging the iconic design like some of the other remasters of these games have done in the past. And you all know what I'm talking about. I don't even need to say it. And that's pretty much everything that we know about this collection so far. Other than, like I say, details of the original games, but we're not going to go into that too far here. Suffice to say, you've got the first three games, which were the NES games. They kind of brought a lot of the things into the franchise that are recognisable today. Like Chocobos, Bahamut, Shiva, Job Systems, Turn-Based Combat, all of that sort of thing that was kind of set in stone in the original three games on the NES. And then when we get into the SNES era 4, 5 and 6, we really see them start flexing the storytelling muscles. Obviously they're still innovating as far as like the mechanics go. You've got things like the ATB system come in, expanded job mechanics, everything like that. But the storytelling really steps up a level when you get into Final Fantasy 4. And 6 is arguably the best in the franchise. I mean, it's up there with 7 for me. Like seven's the best, but 6 is not far behind. That's my opinion, of course. A lot of people would have that the other way around. It's really good that these games are getting remasters. The problem is where they're getting remastered to. At first I was hoping it was going to be a collection and you'd be able to get them all in one bulk purchase. Unfortunately, that isn't the case. They're going to be released separately. So that's one thing, but and, and that's not particularly a bad thing. But the bad thing is that they're only being released on Steam, iOS, and Android, which a lot of people are really unhappy about. Not everybody has a PC, so they don't have access to Steam, and not everybody likes to game on the mobile phone. It kind of cuts a lot of people out. I mean, at the very least, I would have expected it to come to something like the Switch. And there is still that possibility. I mean, this is just an initial announcement. We don't know what other negotiations they've got going on in the background. We don't know what other plans they've got going on in the background. It is possible that we may see these come to things like the PlayStation, come to the Switch, come to the Xbox. But yeah, at the minute, it is exclusively Steam and then mobile platforms, which, yeah, not everyone's the biggest fan of. Another thing I was hoping for was that we'd get a visual style similar to Octopath Traveler which I think is an absolutely beautiful game. It's a really good way to get really good 2D graphics and really high detail backgrounds and things like that and bring it into the modern age. I, I think it would work brilliantly, especially with Final Fantasy 4, 5 and 6. It'd be insane seeing those games in that kind of style. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like that's going to be the case, although so far we've not seen much. They may have surprises in store for us. I think so far we've only really seen little sprites. Like That's it. I don't think the gameplay screens that we saw in the trailer were the actual screens of the remade games. Or I don't think any of them were. I know the first few definitely weren't, but I don't think there was any kind of snuck in there either. I think the only thing that we've got that's updated is the sprites. So you never know when they build the game. It may still be in that Octopath Traveler kind of vibe. I don't think it will be. I think they'll go for something a bit different, something a bit more in line with the original versions of the games. But we will see. And the only other thing that we can talk about is when we're going to get more news on these games. And I'll be honest, that's a bit of an unknown. I, I, I'm, a, I'm lost as to when we could hear about them. Like We've obviously got some sort of Sony event coming in the next few weeks. I, like, I refuse to accept that there isn't going to be one. But there's no reason for this collection to be mentioned at that event because they're not coming to the PlayStation. 
So they're not going to get mentioned, but that... I think we'll hear more this year. I'm pretty sure that we'll hear more about these games this year. Potentially we might even get the first one, but as far as anything concrete, I, there isn't anything. Well, that's enough of me rambling. What about you? What do you think about these games? Are you excited for the games? Or are you kind of put off by some of the news, like only being on mobile or only being on Steam? Does that kind of put you off a little bit? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe for more. But more importantly than anything, have a great day.